This is a Farmall C from, I believe, 1948. I use it for my arena work for the ranch here. And the problem I was having with it was that I could idle it for about as long as I wanted, but if I went to run it, it would die within five or 10 minutes or less if I went to pull any kind of a real load or go at any real speed or up even a slight incline. The reason that was, as it turned out for me, and maybe for you if you're having this problem, is I had a little bit of rust in the fuel tank get down into that little intake area. It's about 3 16th of an inch round. I looked down with a flashlight into the tank when it was empty, or almost empty anyway, and I could see little pieces of rust in that little intake area. So the real fix, and I'll have to do this one of these days, is to take the fuel tank completely off and clean out that fuel tank. Obviously what was happening is little pieces of rust were blocking it so it would drip down into that sediment bowl instead of flow in. And by the way, if that's all you're getting is a drip, drip, drip into your sediment bowl, then that is your problem. It should flow right down in there pretty fast. Uh, and from there into your line, it's a gravity-fed system, of course, so it needs to flow fast enough. And it wasn't flowing fast enough for the tractor to get the fuel it needed with any kind of a load. It was just flowing enough for it to idle. Anyway, I took that sediment bowl off and opened it up and gas would drip where it would. That's just the way of it, set a rag under it. But I put a air compressor hose up there where the sediment bowl normally goes, made sure everything was open, and I just blew air into it. And I was actually looking into the fuel tank with a flashlight while using the air compressor hose. Don't do that because, um, well, when it breaks free, you're gonna end up with an eye full of gasoline. So don't do that. Just use the air hose and don't look in. The other problems that might cause the same thing as I was studying and learning this that might also help you is this fuel cap here. It needs to vent. So if these little vents are clogged, they tell you just to get a new fuel cap or I was actually going to try to clean it out, but it didn't turn out to be the problem for me. I also cleaned out the line here. Same thing. I just blew air through it actually by mouth, but I knew that wasn't the problem, so it didn't matter. I also checked this little elbow here that goes into the carburetor, and there's a little filter in here that I went ahead and cleaned. Be careful with it, don't break it, but I cleaned it pretty good as well. Again, for me, it was this fuel tank. Hopefully that helps you.